can go back. The 26th Institution of Engineers of Kenya International Conference kicked off with discussions focusing on the Big Four agenda. I'm talking about affordable housing, health sector, food security, as well as manufacturing. The government has launched the Big Four agenda to guide the country's development program for the period 2018 to 2022. The B4A is in line with the Vision 2030, which aspires for a middle-income industrialized nation. And as engineers, we are crucial stakeholders in this world development agenda and their implementation. At the, at the international level global scene, we talk about the SDGs. At the regional level, we talk about Africa Agenda 2063, the Africa we want. And locally, we are talking about the Vision 2030, the big four agendas. And this show is that our engineers are ready and are capable and willing to work uh, with government and with agencies to make sure these things work out well. It is in no doubt that engineers will play a critical role in achieving the Big Four agenda. This year's conference is riding on the theme addressing the 21st century challenges. A human mind, and especially so an engineering mind, is such that for as long as there's a challenge, a solution will always be sought. As engineers, it is our key responsibility to identify these problems and offer solutions to overcome the challenges within our communities and the world at large. These challenges, though huge, are solvable and to adequately tackle them we have to be innovative and fo be focused in the engineering professions. We have no better country. I get challenged when I go to Korea, when I go outside this country. I see the level of infrastructural development that I see, water treatment, you see waste water being transformed to drinking water. We see roads trans, uh, crisscrossing each other. And you wonder, where did our engineers go? Where did our, our thinkers go? We have the opportunity, we have the responsibility, and the time is now. From Diani in South Coast, my name is Elijah Mwangi from Charms Media reporting for KTN News.